the lid, and the whole thing just like mm, stained my brand new Louis Vuitton shirt. And look at that, Ugh. brand new shirt, it's covered in makeup. Ugh, I hate it, but I sold it to Gloria because the color was too dark for me. Sue Cook is here, Natasha Lugo is here. What kind of candy? Spicy candy, of course. This is, guess how what a sandia? Mm -hmm. See what sandia? Mm -hmm. It's watermelon with chili. Mm. It's so well. Mm. Hola, hola. Let's pick that website. So today's nails are going to be very much a kind of like a nail makeover because your nails are not in very good shape at all. They're super damaged, super thin, super brittle. So I'm going to show you how to take a uh, natural nails that are in really, really bad shape and shambles and give them a makeover and give them a new lease on life. So are we ready? To start the fantasy of the Fun Andrews. Let's turn this camera around, you guys, and knock this one out of the park. Oh, I'm Tanya Camilla Wilson is here. So, this is the current state of her nails, as you guys can see. She literally ripped them off today. And this is what we're doing. And she is actually one of my mom's acquaintances, and she asked me, she's like, can you do a friend of mine's nails today? And I was like, sure, why not? And I had no idea they were going to be in such shambles, but I think we did pretty good today. What do you guys think? And the shape is City Stiletto, which is a really pretty everyday baby woman kind of phalange. And the color is Fungel 201 Laser Rainbow. Hey, Max. Hello, hello. Right from the start. So let's begin to push back the cuticles. Oh, Robin figured out how to tag me. Pink Army here, reporting for duty. From Germany, Guten Tag. So I'm gonna start out with where is my hair? I'm gonna start out with the unicorn bit, okay? This bit is great because it literally has no grit, and it just really pushes back and cleans the cuticles. Let's go in and really gently clean, clean, clean. Oh, I want to see. You didn't tag me on Instagram. Where are you going to, Sue? The club? Thank you, Veronica, for packing my. I will tell Veronica that. I will tell her that. Thank you. It's her day off today, but I will tell her tomorrow. Miss Teria Smith, reporting for duty. What hand lotion do you use on your hands? They look so good. Thank you. I actually don't use a hand lotion. I use, well, I do use our um, cuticle treatment every day, the BBC. And at night when I'm putting on my potions on my face, whatever I have left over, I rub it in my hands. So that's kind of like my little secret, if you will. And right now I'm a big fan of, of Obagi Hydro Lux because my skin is dry. Now I'm going to use the rest of my Medicare drill bit set. I'm going to take my little ball bit. And I'm going to, very, very gently, begin to file the dry non-living tissue. And on her natural nail, very gently, very, very carefully, buff the top surface. You don't have to do a lot of crazy etching or anything like that because the nail is already super thin. So we just want to make sure that top surface of the nail is nice and clean so that way we can apply our nail on top. And that is true, I use a lot of potions on my face. But right now I'm really into Obagi and they had a really good sale actually. But one product I've used for, maybe, gosh, maybe like 20 years or so is Obagi Clear. So, get you some Obagi Clear.
Okay. Now we're going to remove the dust. I'm going to cut this one right here. There we go. And then we're going to do one coat of nail prep and one coat of primer. We're doing a nail extreme makeover today. Is that damage from acrylic nails? Traigan sueños acrílicas ahorita. Yes. ¿Cuánto duraste con ellas? Un mes. ¿Te las rellenaste o no? O no Nomás te las arrancaste. Ah, ahorita me las arranqué. She ripped them off. Me dice que sí, ¿por qué están tan maltratadas sus uñas? Porque bailó mucho. Se ahogó tomando caguamas y tequila. Y se le quebraron cuando estaba en el tubo. Porque era la quinta puesta. Porque ya, ya, esas uñas dieron lo que tuvieron que dar. Mm -hmm. So the question was, why are her nails in that state? And I was like, well, she was drunk, she was twerking on a pole upside down, and she fell and all the nails broke off. That's why. <laughs> But we're going to do a nail makeover, so stay tuned. Watch, watch the fantasy happen. I'm going to use City Stiletto. She's like me every day. And that's what's so great about the one, two, three go nails is that it is so easy and fast to really make them fresh again and get a new lease on life. Go. Okay. And then we're gonna use Queen press on gel. And I'm not going to ask where she got them done or who did them because that's really none of my business and I'm not here to slam anybody's work or how they file the nail or anything like that. We're just here to make them look pretty. So I'm literally frosting on my pink press on gel. And this is going to protect her natural nail as well too because press on gel makes your nail grow like crazy. And that's what I use on my nails as well too. So if you want your nail just really clean and simple, pink press on gel is it. Okay, I didn't put a lamp Isn't the color beautiful? I'm going to use pink bubblegum gel. Mine is empty already, as you can see. I'm not supposed to use a bottom chick because I use it every day, all day. I have my other pink bubblegum gel ready because I cannot live without it. We gotta protect the natural nail, we gotta protect our real estate investment. Would it be better to do it in layers? Do what in layers? Apply the pink press on gel. Kimberly is here. Hello, love. Um, it's up to you. One coat should be okay. There's a little bit, me la puedo sacar. Sácala, mija. Sí, no pasa nada. ¿Mm? Mande. Gracias a Dios. Tú lo sin algo. Nos está viendo costura ahorita, la cruz de Lota, Badiraguato, Angostura, El Choice. Tiene gente en su video. Ay no, al drop rubber spatula. Make a little bead. Okay. 
Dogs. Can you use base gel? Mm. Press on gel is going to give you a harder finish than base gel. You can use base gel, but I just like press on gel better. You get a harder finish, a little bit more volume to the nail. Next, what I'm, what I'm putting... Nope, we better not put anything on and give them a break. No, not at all. Not at all. Put the nails on. Put on the phalanges. Relaja los dedos. If you don't put anything on at all, she's more likely to split and break her nails than if I just left them naked. So, nope. I think that putting the nail on is literally going to act as a... Well, I'm not thinking. I know that putting the nail on will act as a shield. Whatever gel runs out, just scrape it off. So I'm just going to freeze it for a few seconds. Yes, the candy is so good. That's why I'm so quiet because I'm really stuck on the candy hard. There we go, and then whatever comes off, just scrape it off. Beautiful. Now we're ready to bake for one minute. I just have my dinner. I'm going to clean everything off with a little express wipe. Tardio. Ahí está. Sí, de tenedadita. Pero yo le puse en el dos bajita. Also, a cool little chip. If you feel a crunk or a heat spike, what you can do is you put your hand into the lamp right and if you feel a heat spike what you do is you push down like this so you put your hand in like this right you push down like this and that will take away the heat spike the little edge and it only lasts maybe like a few seconds only and then it should be back to normal Lots of little knickknacks on my desk. Mm. That was kind of cool walking it into the lamp, just slowly. Get my bits ready, my file, so we can file the sides. She's almost done baking. When you're using the bigger um, 
The 99 cent seconds timer. Yeah. Then let me come. You have to cure it a little bit longer just to let the nail finish the polymerization process thoroughly. Cómodos y prácticas. Super buchonas. Anchas. Uñas bien anchas, llenas de cristal de Swarovski. Se me hacía agua la boca. No me, no me dio ni la página de canijo. Es muy buena. Ya sé, ya me dijo. La puedes hacer en la mía personal o en la del negocio. Pon Max Estrada y a ver qué te sale. Max Estrada el Chaca. Oye, y tú, hola. Cálmate ya. Dile, ya me cansaste, dile. No, sí, cansa, sabré que sí cansa. Es una bonita. Por algo el más bien, ¿Una lata de eso? ¿Le ibas a cuidar tú? Sí, luego cuidando a mi papá también a otro. ¿Quién? No lo puede cuidar bebés mi papá. Ay, ¿Cómo estás, Max? ¿Qué? Max Estrada, el Chaca de Sinaloa. ¿Con una X más? Sí. ¿Qué dice Uñas? A ver. Max Estrada. Mira. Ahí está. No, un bonito que me regalaron. Guau, wow, dijo 45 mil, por favor. Eso no es tan. Tengo más en Instagram. Mira lo que me So I'm going to use my verse bit to blend in the cuticle. I'm going to blend it, oh sorry, the cuticle really gently. And you can see that this bit, never gonna cut the cuticle, look at that, see? Right on my skin. Making sure there's no products up to the skin. And just be really careful. Let the machine do the work for you. What I see a lot of people do is that they turn the drill bits way up high and they really go in and just go ham. And it's like, no, love, relax. Let the machine do the work for you. Beautiful. So nice and clean. Yes, you soak them off. And to soak off, there really is no technique actually. Literally, just pop the nails in some acetone and then, actually, before you put your hands in my acetone, put a really thick hand lotion on, like cocoa butter or olive oil or coconut oil on your hands to avoid like excessive drying out. And then just soak them in acetone for about 20 minutes in a non-plastic bowl. And then you're good to go, ready for a new set. Or you can also file them super thin and just put a new set on top. inside a little bit, just make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure the nails have got no naga on the inside. Will Eno Couture ever be sold at Ulta? No love. Not anytime soon. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Uh oh, the is gonna come out. So I'm going to use from the Russian manicure drill bit set, I'm going to use the flame shape bit and just really gently refine around the cuticle just to get a really nice blend. Is the camera focusing? Why is it so dark? I'm going to refine the sides again, make sure they're nice and straight and skinny mini. And again, you guys, I apologize if I can't get to every single comment. It's a little bit harder during the snatching of the phalanges. We're too cool. Is it better now that I fix the lighting? Ya me seguiste. Sí. Ya te miré. Ya. Ahí me salió. Uy, mira, estás tú. <risa> Tengo amigas que están siguiendo. ¿En serio quién? Social Contreras. Ah, no está ahí, aquí en la página. Now we're going to take the smoothie buffer and buff the top. See? Mm -hmm. No sé quién será. Lupita Naya, Sochi Colveras, Claudia Aguilar. ¿Qué te quieres? Pues son gente de aquí. No de Sinaloa. Uh, no, entonces no, ¿qué sabe? Son de tu comunidad. <laughs> Loving the shape. Yeah, hay varias. Está la Oma Lache también. Claudia Viviola, Gina, Roxana, Ide. Tienes un chorro de aquí. ¿En serio, Tucson? Socios de Tucson que tienes. Wow, son bastantes, ¿verdad? Bastantes. Ni sabes con quién te sigue. De tantos. Vamos a poner detrás. Se convierte en un monster. And then for the base color, I use A Pink 25, which is a really pretty, like, powdery pink. This color is so soft and chic. Super femme. Super nats. Look at that. Love it. Isn't her like nails and hands look a thousand times better now that we did our little makeover? And we're still not even done yet.
Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bake this for 30 seconds. I have a lemon. And we'll get our fungal 201 ready and our pistachio ombre brush. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been drinking Gatorade and I need to get rid of this Gatorade because it is ready to leave my body. Lordy, Lord, Lord, thank God we're almost done. Gatorade is no fun. It always makes me feel like a racehorse. So now we're going to do a little ombre with laser rainbow, which is 201. So when doing an ombre, work the color thinner and then take your pistachio brush and really gently feather it towards the back. Very, very gently. Bayonetta music. This is called Italian Disco Hits on YouTube. So excited. I hope you love everything. We need holiday stickers like St. Patrick's stickers, 4th of July. I love doing holiday nails. We do have 500 stickers. So we don't have any stickers specifically for the St. Patrick's holiday theme, but we do for our pretty much every other big major holiday, even Kwanzaa. Ramadan, Yom Kippur. So I'm gonna do my second coat. That's so sparkling. Nice and thin, work it in, work it in. Nice and thin, work it in, work it in. Ya te vas, Gloria. Vas a ir a visitar a la Ceci. Isn't it pretty? And this is such a simple look, you guys, but it literally goes with everything. Okay, let's go ahead and bake this. 30 seconds. Get my Wonder Gel ready to seal. Where are you, Wonder Gel? I know you're here somewhere. I just used you for shoes. Chrome with glitter, doesn't it? Super beautiful, this color. It's very, very rich. Super glitter pigmented. This is Fun Gel 201 Laser Rainbow. What you doing, round face? There's some black widows. Black, there ain't no black widows in Arizona. There's black round faces. <laughs> black widow round faces. Spiders. So now we're gonna go in with a nice little coat of Wonder Gel and seal everything in. Yeah. 
Nice even coat. Yes, And float the top coat on so that you get a really beautiful finish. And then I'm going to turn the hand upside down and let it self level out. What's the difference? Yes, the best bet would be to go on the website. Each top coat has different viscosities and different properties. So each one has its benefit. I wouldn't say it has a con because it doesn't. But each one has its benefit and what you would need from a top coat. Do you know what I mean? So that's why we have three options. So that way you have one that works best given the circumstance that you need it for. Look at that shine. So beautiful. We're going to bake it now for one minute. Let the mano. Bien, bien está dentro. You should sell Eno Couture pink army t-shirts, maybe in the future. The first piece of merch that we launched was the tumbler. That's four colors, luck of the draw, but aren't they beautiful though? We have them in, when you order one, you'll get a random color. There is blue, there is pink, purple, and green. And then, some cotton candy cuticle oil, and we're ready to go. We got a green one. Isn't that a beautiful green too? It's not like a neon green, or it's not like a pastel green. It's like a candy green, but still really bright, yet not like obnoxious. Really pretty. I still drink out of my Disney one, because I don't want to use one of my own, because I feel bad. Let's make sure these bad boys are dry. Yes. Now let's hydrate with the cotton candy cuticle oil. Where are you going? Where are you going, round face? For what? Homework, or are you gonna go play Super Smash Round Face Brothers and get Bayonetta? Why not? Well, can't you just transfer it over? I can let you rent my Switch. But it's not mine. Look how cute they are. Focus camera. There we go. So sparkly. A ver, la otra. That color is stunning. Very disco with the music, I agree. If you have a specific question about the top coat, if you can ask it now really quickly, or if not, you can email it to the website and they can answer it. So like if you have like a specific one. Bye bye. Keep telling you to tilt it over. There we go. Well, that's going to be a wrap, you guys, for this little disco short baby woman nail fantasy realness. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just, you know, a very everyday kind of nail. Super easy to do. Super fun yet. Very, very practical. And that is going to wrap it up for today's little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.